breathe it in just breathe it in I'm gonna go into the van and make some bean burritos for tonight and then we're gonna take a walk into the mountains Stance is even and the ride has softened a bit too. So no more rattling up front here. This used to really rattle. Uh, the sumo springs, since they're pretty much touching the axle now, there's no more jolting. Everything's a, 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 a smoother compress, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Smoother up front for sure. Uh, the steering has improved as well, especially going down uh, the highway and the big rigs pass you by and that wind will knock you over. And with these springs, uh, not so much. Keeps it pretty stable. I'm happy with uh, the sumo springs. I would recommend those highly to anybody with um, an RV or anything that they want to keep from rocking and rolling and pitching. I got one of these carriers, these hitch carriers off of Amazon. I got the kind that you can fold up in case I'm not using it because this is kind of long and this makes it extra long and that's a lot of uh, space to take up if it's empty so I could go ahead and fold it up stick the hitch pin in there and save that space um, but before that, I had to get the, the hitch and I went with a draw tight. This is the one that fit my van. I ordered one off of Home Depot and it was the wrong, uh, it was the wrong one. It was supposed to be a universal fit, but when I got the box, it said fits the F-150, 250, 350, and that's not me. <sighs> I'm an E350. So I went ahead and installed that. That worked good. And now I have a place to carry more stuff. Here's my kitchen sink setup and uh, my step because I raised up my ride about an inch. I got the sag reduced. Before I did this upgrade, I couldn't fit my fist in there, and now I can fit a fist and half a thumb, so maybe an inch, inch and a quarter, lift it up. And I will show you what I put under here. I don't know if you could see up there, that black airbag looking thing is a sumo spring. Because I'm carrying so much weight, this thing, when I hit dips, it really rolls. Let me see here. You can see on the back side I got the yellow ones. They're already all dirty. But once you install, they sit right on the axle and they keep the van level and keeps the van from rocking. And it does a pretty good job. The install took me about a couple of hours, but 
the claims were 15 minutes. So I borrowed a friend's high lift jack and we lifted this bad boy up from the hitch. Put a bottle jack under here on the frame to lift the axle from the frame and got those installed. Now I have space, it doesn't sag anymore. And it used to sit lower on this side and now it's all evened out. It's a pretty good, pretty good upgrade, I would say. There were 300 for the back, I believe 230 for the front. I got the black ones in the front because they were the medium. So there's blue, black, and yellow. Yellow being the most rigid and then blue being the softest. And I wanted something in the middle because the ride is pretty rough when you're out in this kind of rain. <laughs> 